Another day working hard, pretty exhausted. It's been hard to keep up with the video footage because it's just, uh, we're tired. But today I decided to take the camera out because I don't know if you can see behind me. The fog is pretty crazy today. Moving real fast through the trees and whatnot. So today we're working on setting up the ledger on the footing, on top of the footing. So I'll show you a little bit what that's like. And uh, yeah, working. So there we have the ledger right here. Boop. Sitting on top of the footing that we built last week and filled in with concrete. And then after that we're done with the ledger, we will set up the sono tubes on top of the holes that we did that we filled halfway with concrete and get those ready. But I don't think we'll be able to do that today because there's a forecast of a little bit of rain tonight and we don't want to have them wet before we pour the concrete. So we'll see how far we get. We should have the ledger set up today and then probably work on the sono tubes tomorrow and uh, roll with it. One technique that we used to set up the ledger is we took a four inch masonry drill bit and drilled a hole through the wood into the concrete. Then we used 16 penny sinker nails, took two of them and hammered them into the same hole. This helps to reinforce the concrete form for when you pour the concrete into the form. I'll reference the video that we learned from in the description below. So today we are finishing up the sono tubes. Yesterday was pretty intense. We worked until like 10:30 at night, uh, making everything level and uh, trying to finish uh, the last row of sono tubes because we needed to know if we needed to order extra, and we did. So I'm glad we pushed through and got that figured out. Uh, so now I'll show you what we did for the sono tubes uh, for the pillars. Another great trick that we found online is how to create a guide for the sono tube to cut straight cuts on the sono tube. It's not easy cutting straight cuts into circular forms, so we found this technique and it worked really well. We cut a four inch part off the top of the sono tube, made a cut perpendicular, and added a metal collar to adjust the size of the guide to be able to slide it on and off the sono tube. This was really helpful and I'll include a link to a video in the description from where we got this idea. Yay! Okay, so we completed the sono tubes uh, for the pillars. Those are all leveled out and positioned well and set in place. So now we're just finishing up some stuff uh, for the ledger, reinforcing the sides. Then we're gonna go and figure out the measurements for our metal plates that go on the top of the pillars and on the ledger. You can see here's one right here, upside down. They'll look like that. Well, not set like that, but 
so yeah those will go along the side one on each pillar different sizes depending on which one at which pillar they go on so getting it done almost finished then it's time to eat Pouring day! So stressful! Oh my gosh, everyone's here. The line pump and the truck of concrete. We got everything set up like literally one minute ago. Finished doing all the marks. Cutting it close, but what can you do? Alright, so we're gonna pour the concrete, set the plates, and hope it all goes well. We did it! So this is what it looks like after you uh, work in concrete all day. If you can see Bayan's face is covered in concrete. <laughs> so we finished, we're exhausted, it was really stressful, it was only us this time and we really could have used another person to help so it was a little uh, difficult for us to kind of get everything situated before everything dried. But it looks good and uh, just gotta let it set and then we peel the forms off. Two things that we did for the concrete pillars. We troweled the top of the pillars to have sort of a dome shape so when the rain or any sort of water or moisture goes on the top it will run off the side and go down into the ground. And we finished the top of the pillars with a wet broom. It did a really nice finish on the pillars, on the, the top of the pillars. When we were looking online, we didn't find too much info on how to remove the sono tubes very easily. We tried a lot of different ways to remove them and all of them were really time consuming and really difficult. Finally, the thing that worked the best was to use a pressure washer and cut the sono tubes off with a pressure washer. You don't need a, a ver one very high in PSI, you can get away with maybe like 1700 PSI. PSI and it works the best for removing the sonotube form from the pillar. Mm -hmm. 